So recently I hit credits again on Judgment, this time on the PS5 version thanks to a copy of the game given to me by Sega, and honestly it was a delight to go through it again. The story is still exciting and entertaining even when knowing what was coming next, the gameplay was still engaging, well mostly, and while the pre-release comparisons did it no favors, the game consistently impressed me visually with this next gen upgrade. I still wish there was a cross-buy and cross-save feature, but for those who haven't yet tried Judgment, this is the definitive way to experience it. It still stands strong as one of RGG Studios' best games, and I don't believe it's a stretch to say it's one of the best games in Sega's entire catalog. But as much as I loved playing it, the things about it that frustrated me on my first playthrough in 2018 still stuck out to me on this recent run-through. So I thought it'd be fun to go over some improvements that I hope its newly announced sequel, Lost Judgment, can bring to the table. I also hope to see some things from Yakuza Like a Dragon come over too, and while I'll be referencing aspects of that game, I won't be spoiling any stories here, so no worries. So hey, these are the improvements that I think Lost Judgment needs to make. Or not, I'm buying it either way, so who cares. The first improvement I am hoping for is one that seems really obvious when you think about it, but you likely haven't thought of it. I'd love to see varied weather come to Lost Judgment during exploration and other RGG Studios games in the future. It might seem like a minor thing, but having rain soak the streets of Kamurocho during dramatic story moments or hearing the crunch of snow under Yagami's feet as he explores Yokohama would do a ton to make the game environments feel even more immersive. I love the attention to detail in the games and cities as is, and I'm ready to see what modern weather effects can do to accentuate that detail. We often see puddles on the streets of Kamurocho, but we rarely ever get to play and explore during the rain. Sure, it happens in cutscenes, and even back in Yakuza 5 we had a couple snowy environments, but it'd be cool to see it more often. I don't even need a dynamic weather system that changes on its own, though that'd be cool, but having some windier, snowier, and rainier moments now and then for set story sequences would be fantastic. There's another huge thing I'm hoping for, and if you haven't played Yakuza Like a Dragon yet, you'll have to hear me out on this one. That game introduced the city of Yokohama, a location that Lost Judgment will be returning to and very likely spending a lot of its time in. On the one hand, I'm excited to return to it. It has a neat vibe and is the largest game map in these games to date. But that expense came at a cost in Like a Dragon, and that cost was the lack of much interesting to do throughout the city. Taken all in all, there's probably not much less to do in, say, Kamurocho or Sotenbori, but there are so many streets where there's either just one store or one restaurant or nothing at all making the city increasingly dull and tedious to navigate through as time goes on. There's a fast travel taxi system to get around that, but that's a shame to me as I hardly ever want to take a taxi in these games. There's always a smattering of interesting places to engage with or things to do on my way to story beats. I'm hoping to see Yokohama get fleshed out more in Lost Judgment, and this way it'll help set the groundwork for future games too, as it's a pretty sure bet this won't be the last time we see it. I'm hoping they'll give more reasons to visit every part of the city this go round. And a small thing that could help that a lot is to bring back the friend system from Judgment and improve upon it here. In that game, I loved having these tiny side quests tied to business owners and other assorted characters throughout the town. It did a lot to help make Kamurocho feel even more familiar, and being able to tie names and faces to the businesses in Yokohama would be really nice. I'd be okay with larger side quests being attached to this too, and thinking a step further, being able to get some flavor text from new friends when seeing them in a city instead of just waving at them would be a great addition. There's a lot of ways they could potentially flesh this out, and I'm hoping that happens instead of it being dropped altogether. And when it comes to those interpersonal dynamics with others, a key part of Judgment is the total bromance between Yagami and Kaito. I'll put it bluntly, I want to be able to take Kaido out on the town. I want to take him to karaoke, I want to take him to the weird VR world with a talking cat, out for lunch, anywhere and everywhere. We very rarely get a persistent sidekick in this series gameplay-wise, least of all one we can actively hit the town with whenever, and I'd like to see them incorporate Yakuza Like a Dragon's party chat feature with Kaito. 
these two have a great dynamic and play off each other well, and I simply want more of it. Maybe bringing Kaido along could also tie nicely into one of Judgment's more egregious issues, its trailing missions. I have yet to see someone who liked these in Judgment, or in any game for that matter. Trailing missions have fundamentally been the same for years and years in games, and I've not seen anyone really nail their execution. But they just keep showing up. I don't really know that they can be fixed, but judging by the reveal footage, they're making a return like it or not. I think introducing some interactivity to these would be a positive change. Maybe Yagami could enlist Kaito, or even friends he's made throughout the city, to cause distractions when he's close to being caught by the suspect, or perhaps Kaido could man the drone entirely and follow people that way? Seriously, I don't think they ever used the drone once to actually follow someone in judgment, and it's kind of baffling in hindsight. At the absolute worst, if these gameplay segments are going to return unchanged, I hope they appear much less frequently. And also, speaking of the drone, can we get some drone heat actions? Pretty please? I'd love to see what ridiculous nonsense they could get into with that. The trailing missions weren't the only detective part of Judgment, though, and while they were definitely the worst, the other aspects were very underutilized throughout the main narrative. There's a whole costume section in the main menu, and frankly, it taunts me because it's so underutilized. You get to swap outfits a few times during the main story, don't get me wrong. The best of which is right near the start when you infiltrate a Yakuza building to pretend to repair their heater. It's funny and showed some potential that didn't really get capitalized on enough. Yagami is a stoic, almost too normal dude, and seeing him put on the spot and thrust in odd situations that are out of his depth are great. I'd love to see Lost Judgment give more opportunities to use outfits instead of generally locking them off to just whatever specific side quest they pop up in. Also, can we get the ability to put them on whenever? I just wanted to walk around Kamurocho as a vampire, but I wasn't allowed. Prior games let you wear alternate costumes after being the main story. I really hope we'll be able to after Lost Judgment's credits. You just simply cannot give me a dumb vampire outfit and then barely let me use it. Come on, guys. Speaking of assuming other identities, another really fun part of Judgment were the few times when you'd be thrust into a courtroom to defend and present evidence. Yagami is no longer a lawyer, of course, but there's nothing stopping him from getting wrapped up in a situation where he goes under a different name and gets to do lawyer things anyway. In lieu of entirely new Ace Attorney games from Capcom, this could be the next best thing. I could see these being a great category of side stories, maybe akin to the business section of Yakuza Like a Dragon, where you're given specific quotas and such to meet as you work your way up as a lawyer. You might counter and say, wouldn't someone recognize Yagami after all he did in Judgment? Which is a fair point, but this is the series that has let Kiryu become a taxi driver with no real disguise, among a myriad of other ridiculous situations where he should be ostensibly recognizable, but just isn't. Yagami becoming an ace attorney under a different name against his desires is just the right kind of goofy for this series of side content, and at worst, again, there are always the disguises. I totally want to be a vampire lawyer, so come on. I don't have a good segue for this one, and it's totally a minor thing that's almost not worth bringing up, but I'm a fanboy, so here we are. Plus, I think Yakuza series veterans will feel me on this one. Look, this series doesn't have the easiest trophies or achievements to go for, and I know not everyone cares about those, but a way to work toward alleviating that issue is to finally remove the Legend difficulty trophy. If you're unaware, Legend difficulty only unlocks after you've beaten a Yakuza game on hard mode. Sometimes in the past this was called EX Hard Mode if you've been out of the game for a while. I'm not against there being a harder difficulty mode, but after playing every localized entry in this series, I think there's an argument to be made here that player burnout can be real. I want to try to get all of the trophies in these games and beat them on their hardest difficulty, but I never want to do it off the heels of beating the game for the first time, and with so many of these games releasing these days, I very rarely find myself returning to one of them so that I can recuperate and be ready for the next one when it comes. That I replayed Judgment on PS5 all the way through is a testament to just how good it is, but this is a precedent that I think Lost Judgment needs to set. Either give me Legend difficulty right out of the gate, or just take the trophy away and let Legend be purely for fun. I think the only times I've ever done this have been for Yakuza Kwame 2, Yakuza 4, and Yakuza 6. And playing through those games just to unlock one extra trophy wasn't very fulfilling either time. Now, giving credit where it's due here, 
Yakuza Like a Dragon didn't have this, but it also didn't have difficulty settings at all. With Lost Judgment being a traditional RGG Studios game, it feels worthwhile to still hold out some hope for. On a difficulty related note I'm sure I'll get a lot more agreement on at least, Judgment introduced a system where powerful attacks and gunshots could dismantle your health bar. This would lock off parts of your health that could only be restored through expensive medical kits sold by a doctor in a sewer or by going to him directly for a checkup. Frankly, I'd like to see this mechanic just go away entirely, I, I get the idea of it. Yagami isn't the ridiculous iron wall of a man that Kiryu is, so having some way to separate the two by having Yagami be more fragile and human makes narrative sense. It also attempts to counter the removal of difficulty one can cause by just bringing a million health and food items with you everywhere. But I think it missed the point. A player can simply increase that difficulty for themselves by opting to not bring those items along or to not use them. It's great for newer or less experienced players to have those options available to them and to never have to worry about the health bar locking up on them. But in the event that it has to return, I hope the barrier of entry to those medical kits is reduced. They shouldn't be so trivially easy to purchase that you wonder why they're even there at all, but having them not be so expensive, as well as having more than one place to reliably find them, would at least ease the frustration this whole thing caused in Judgment. Again, I don't love it, but if it has to return, I hope it's easier to deal with. I'd also like to see Yagami be more nimble. There were certain times in certain boss fights where an enemy was clearly choreographing a huge attack that would destroy my health bar. But for whatever reason, Yagami would just get cold feet and take a while to run away, meaning I'd get hit from something I felt I should have been able to avoid. If you all have any ideas on solving this one, I'd love to hear them. But to that end, that's honestly mostly it for me. I'm hoping for some more diverse interior environments in Lost Judgment. I, I felt I was going through a lot of bland office environments a little too much in this first game, but that first game is honestly so damn good that it was tough for me to think of things. I had to go ask the Golden Bolt for some help on this, they really didn't leave me wanting much with Judgment. I could rattle a few extra things off, like how I'd love Sega music to return to randomly playing in stores again. It was always really dumb in the best way to hear Silver the Hedgehog's theme from Sonic 2006 playing when I was bowling or something. I'd love to hear Infinite's theme from Sonic Forces as I purchase bento boxes. And it'd also be fun to just have some more customization in Yagami's office. Filling his room with cats was fun, but having more space to put things and maybe even being able to customize the wallpaper and flooring would be a dumb, fun change of face. Also, can I stop being guilted for not fighting Keihin gang members constantly? Anyway, that's pretty much everything I've got. Tell me how spot on or off the mark I am in the comments, and please tell me your ideas. We've been treated to a barrage of fantastic Yakuza games over the last few years, and I love thinking of how they can continue to improve things. So that'll do it for me. If you want to hear me yak more about Yakuza, I have plenty of reviews on my channel for the games. Otherwise, have a good night, and do take care. And a huge special thanks to my patrons for their patience with content lately, including Adrian, Buckles Chucklow, Goldstorm07, Harry, Jeet, Joey, Lewis Jones, Moki, Patrick Thompson, Svandelica, That Trap Guy, The Crazy Even, The Legend of Groose, and Wolf Chaosan. Thank you.